excuse me. Ah, yes, it's time for my medicine. Thank you, my dear. And did you have a nice reading, Mr. Ash? Oh, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I loved your last short story, a shtetl, so lyrical. There seems to be much excitement in this house. Excitement is not the best thing for Mr. Peretz's digestion. We won't keep him much longer. I think I've had enough excitement myself. Excuse me. Mr. Peretz, it is because of you that we are creating a Yiddish renaissance. Come, come. Yiddish is our mother tongue, the language of our myths, our songs. Our streets, our, our gutters, our desires. At the end of every day, I come home from work, kiss my wife, and go into this study. And four nights a week, I try to write something for the Jewish people. It may get no further than this living room, but it's for us. I am not happy to produce one slim volume of poetry every two or three years that gets read in your living room. I am not ashamed that I want our stories to be on every stage in every language. You cannot translate this hateful play. If you must throw stones, throw them outside the tent. Oh, it is me. This is a play written by a Jew who hates Jews. Do you know what a minion is? It's 10 Jews in a circle accusing each other of anti-Semitism. <laughs> Shut up. You will be torn limb from limb if the public sees this play. Listen to me about your manuscript. Burn it. <laughs> 